used to return and I ended up in Japan. I think I have a new passion for running. Could just bring us back to the old student times using the laundromat. This trip was really a lot of food. Good morning! Happy Monday everyone! Welcome back to week 3 of the All In Challenge. If you haven't been following and you haven't watched my previous videos, then go watch that. So basically, we are doing this All In Challenge where we're supposed to be All In, 100%, 110% if possible. But uh, things took a turn and I ended up in Japan. This is my second week. Last week was not really productive. Um, I mean, I was kind of like doing touristy things and trying to balance work and definitely not getting enough work done compared to what I wanted to do. So this week, I'm going to tone down the tourist activities and work a little bit more. And I already started kind of strong this morning. I woke up rather early. I went to a cafe, work a little bit, and then now we're at the gym. So this week, I was actually like looking at all the content that I already had had like filmed and everything that needs to be edited and it's insane the amount of work that I still need to do and yeah so I need to really put my blinders on and get to work and get going because otherwise I'm not gonna go anywhere so that's the plan right now we're going to do a little run haven't run for a long time now um, I usually don't run that much because of my knees sometimes they ache so um, but I feel like I really need the rush of endorphins to kickstart the week and like get started strong. So that's what we're gonna do and then shower and then work all day. That's basically the plan. And if we're productive, we'll see if we can squeeze in some sightseeing stuff this week, but we'll see about that. Stay tuned and I'll talk to you guys later. That was not easy, you guys. But I'm happy I did update it is five i almost forgot i was vlogging today so excuse the big gap um so i was working work is doing pretty good i was quite productive i'm happy with the progress so far and then i really wanted to do some laundry so i figured out like a place where i could give my laundry but in the end it was more like a self-service which just bring us back to the old student times using the laundromat which is fine, um, just left my laundry to dry right now and I'm gonna go to the Family Mart which is like the very cute convenience store where you can find like all quirky snacks and drinks I'm gonna get a few stuff and the hope is that maybe I can film like a taste, like a fun taste test of those little snacks there's like so much stuff I have no idea what they are and I've never tasted in my life so um, that's gonna be fun um, I just love like browsing new stuff I guess it's my grocery store obsession again but yeah that's the plan you guys I got the goods um, got a few drinks and then like stuff that I've never seen before so I'm excited to do this I don't know if I should do it right now I still have like 20 minutes waiting for my laundry to get dried or if I should wait and then do it in the hotel but then I'll be working right now it's like useless time anyway so I might as well um, I'm just gonna find a corner because I don't know how I feel about doing a taste test on the road in Japan. Could be cool. Good morning, everyone. I don't think I ended the vlog yesterday, so hello. It is a Tuesday. We started again with a little work section in the morning in a cafe and then a workout. I am really into running since yesterday and yesterday night I was actually looking forward to like go for a run. I don't know what it is, um, I'm not usually a big fan of cardio but right now it's really feeling good so I'm leaning into it. Sorry I'm so out of breath. Um, so yesterday I ran like 19 minutes uh, continuously and I could not go and I could not do more 
and today my goal was simply to do a little bit more so I did 23 minutes and I'm so happy um, right now we're gonna go shower get ready for the day and then get to work yesterday's work has been good I think I had some good work sessions however I was really like stuck on like a web dev problem so kind of like um, spent a lot of hours on it and could not do much video editing which is fine um, hopefully today I'll have more time for that so let's do it let's cue the sweatiness let's get ready for the day hi from Winnie and I I am ready for the day I'm wearing pants because although it is 48 degrees Celsius outside in Japan it is so freezing cold in this hotel and I'm gonna be working a little bit in the cafe so that's where we're headed and then um, I'm gonna try to go and eat like a nice udon noodles today for lunch we're gonna see if we kind of manage to fit that in our schedule so that's the plan let's get working all right you guys i am out and on a hunt for some lunch it is 38 degrees outside which is just cr crazy like i've been out five minutes i'm already sweating it is so hot <laughs> but fortunately it's kind of cloudy so at least like the sun is not burning my knee and my skin um right now i have a plan a which is udon noodles they have those like homemade udon noodles highly rated place but the waiting lines can get crazy and so in case it is more than 30 minutes wait which in the, which is what i'm willing to wait only then i might have to like go to my plan b which is a gyoza place also highly rated so it's gonna be a great day either way so i think that's the place that's fine which does not look too crazy but i'm gonna ask what their waiting times are Okay, so we abandoned the Uden place because there was a two hours wait, which is just crazy. I would never wait that much for food, um, especially when I'm hungry. I guess the way that you do it is like you come at 10 a.m. or something, you get your ticket, and then you like go wander around and then you come back to eat. So we're just gonna see if there's something nearby, otherwise, we'll carry on with our gyoza plan. But I'm kind of craving udon now, so we'll see what we find. I was looking for the Daifuku one, so the mochi with the strawberry inside, but I think it's not the season, so I could not find any of that. Going for traditional, it's gonna make, it's gonna do the trick. Right now, I'm gonna walk back to the hotel, it's a 20 minute walk in a 38 degree Celsius weather. Not ideal, but it's pretty good after the, all the noodles that I've had. Um, also, we might stop at the Family Mart to get some flavored icy on the way. Um, it's so convenient, you can literally find everything in there. I love it. And the drinks are just so bomb. So let's do that and then we'll go back to work. Good afternoon everyone. It is Wednesday 
day I keep forgetting to end my days in the vlog but that's all right because we're doing a weekly so I guess like it is more forgivable for you guys um so the plan is it is actually 3 p.m this morning did not go as planned to say the least like my plan was to wake up as usual like around 7 30 go to the cafe downstairs do some work and then um, today I just wanted to do like a stretch session because we often kind of like forget to stretch and it is so important especially like today my muscles were feeling sore from all the running that I've been doing so um, yeah the plan was to go and do all that and like as usual like as yesterday and the day before but I don't know what happened I did not have a good night of sleep um, I feel like I had like a lot of nightmares I woke up a lot of times had my neck aching for some reason it was not good and I don't even feel like I heard or felt my alarm this morning because I woke up at 10 I mean it never happens to me like I'm, I never wake up that late and I don't know if it's because I did not feel my alarm or it's because of my crappy night it just felt like a lot of good days like so yeah that was kind of like morning wound but maybe I needed the rest I don't know it's fine we kind of like got a grip on our day still because we wanted to do a lot of work now it's 3 p.m. and I'm only going out to find lunch now I'm starving to say the least um, the plan is to go to those like department stores where they have a big food area and you can like kind of like browse and see different stuff and maybe even test different stuff that's kind of my plan and then maybe find a Starbucks where I can do some video editing because we're late on that um, so obviously you know when your morning is not like starting the way that you want it feels crappy and I feel like so bad about it but the point is really not to just like ruin your whole day because of it but try to like get a hold of the rest of the day and still try to do your best so that's what I'm trying to do right now um, yeah so catch up with you guys later and I'm starving so I can't wait for food I did promise my fiance that I'll come back with stuff that is interesting to taste so that's kind of the plan also while I was in the previous um, food stall food area um, I was so overwhelmed and I could not decide what I wanted to eat because everything in there looked so appetizing there was so much choice and sometimes too much choice just is not a good thing and also everything was written in Japanese and I don't understand that so I needed to use Google Translate everywhere because there's definitely some stuff that I don't eat like beef or pork and here like that's definitely one of the issues that I've been having is because um, they put pork everywhere so <laughs> I had to figure out where it was safe for me and I think I'm kind of lost so I'm gonna get going right now I'm not a sweet tooth person, but I mean, when I look at them, I'm like, I want to eat them all. 
So I wanted to initially choose something a little bit less conventional, but in the end I ended up with very traditional pastries, a mobile and a mover, so we'll see, but I feel like it's going to taste long. It is 1 a.m. and your girl is working because we're being productive but seriously though today was a very good day work-wise i've been doing so much progress on my web dev stuff but also on my video editing i'm so happy like the feeling that you have when you're productive and that you're doing the things that you set out to do is just amazing um when waking up today very late i was like my god the day is gonna be ruined because this is not a go going according to my plan but i managed to turn things around this just goes to show that um if you choose to make it work you can make it work i don't know if that's like sound like a quote but you know what i mean so um, I'm going to be continue doing some work right now because I feel like it. I'm in the groove. Um, tomorrow my alarm is set for 7.38 and we're going to hit the gym and we're going to do all of this on repeat again. And I'm happy about it and I'm kind of excited. So I'll see you guys tomorrow on this note. Sweet dreams to you all. I just finished my running sesh, which felt so good. Uh, this morning, actually last night, I was feeling so excited to wake up and go work out in the morning. That's new. And I feel that part of it is because yesterday I took a break and kind of like gave myself the time and space to crave the workout again, which is actually why I don't like work out seven days in a week because I feel like if you do it too much, you just end up burning out. But if you do it like moderately, I do it like four times a week. So I have two days, one break, two days, and then the weekend is off. And that gives me time to like look forward to my routine and working out and it works so well. So I definitely do advise this to you guys. If you are having trouble working out or finding the motivation, maybe don't go too hard, especially in the beginning, build up on it and give yourself time to like look forward to it. So right now, we're gonna go shower, much needed, um, and then uh, go about our day. I think we're gonna go somewhere and visit the Tokyo Tower. I still haven't seen that yet. And then maybe work from a cafe or something. But this morning was also very productive. I just like try to change my editing style a little bit for my upcoming YouTube video. And I'm so obsessed. <laughs> Um, I'm so obsessed with it and I was really like in the flow and looking forward to do more work and finish the editing. Right now I'm looking indecent so I'm just gonna cut it here and go shower. I don't want to ever feel complacent, you know, 
and like not grateful about being able to travel and being able to see all those like magical and believable places so just being honest here but yeah very looking forward to working we came back to the hotel like an hour ago did some work already and now I am kind of like feeling hungry so I thought I would just go and walk work from the Starbucks and also get some food somewhere so um, I saw that there was this if you don't know him he's like a very famous chef I think he's still alive you guys need to check it I don't know uh, but his restaurants usually are like Michelin stars restaurants so very expensive but he has like a bakery and yesterday I went past it and today I'm not feeling very savory so I'm kind of like looking for something a bit pastry like even like croissant could do the trick with a nice coffee that's kind of like what I'm feeling right now so we're gonna look for those goodies and then sit and I'm kind of wanting to go back to the same Starbucks as yesterday it was outside so there was no harsh AC on me which I really really much appreciate and yeah and do some work from there and then to now we have dinner same old same old but we're very happy about it so let's go Um, done with my work session I was not as productive as I wanted because I was kind of like having problems solving an issue on my web dev stuff but that's all right um, we almost finished the video though, so I'm very happy about that right now I am heading um, to dinner with the fiance but you guys I had too much to eat like I had this like vegetable forte and then a croissant on top of it and it was like almost five and I regretted it when I finished it but it was so good but I mean this trip was really a lot of food which is fine but sometimes I do kind of like beat myself up I'm trying to be honest with you guys like I try to be alright with whatever I eat but sometimes I have thoughts where I'm like maybe I should not have eaten that much you know and I regret it but it's okay anywho anyhow now I'm going for a dinner and I'm still gonna enjoy that because in a few days I'm not gonna be in Tokyo and I'm not gonna have access to all those foods I'm gonna have access to different kind of foods <laughs> but no but when I'm gonna be back in Bangkok I'm gonna be doing like a little clean eating you know what I mean no restriction but just like cleaner eating, homemade meals, etc. etc. So I'll talk to you guys later. We're back at the hotel and shocker, we had sushi once again and then we also went back to the Eclo vending machine thing and we won another Winnie Pooh, but obviously like we have one. And so we would not keep all of them and we gave it to a little girl, she was so happy. Anyways, um, that being said, I'm going to be doing some more work right now. Um, and yeah, I think I'm going to end today's part of the vlog now. And then I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow, I feel like we're going to do some sightseeing in the morning because it's Friday and we're going on Sunday. So we do want to like see some stuff that we haven't yet. And I also have some stuff on my food bucket list that I want to check off tomorrow. So tomorrow is going to be a big eating day again. And uh, so it would be nice for me to finish my vlog and kind of like publish it. Today, tonight, hopefully, cross fingers. I should have done it since like yesterday. So um, I'm going to do my best to publish it today and then... I will work on my web dev stuff and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning everyone. I hope you're doing well, you slept well and you're feeling rested and restored. Today's Friday. Um, waking up was very hard this morning. 
I don't know why, maybe because like I went to sleep kind of late, I think around two. And so I went downstairs to the cafe, did a little scripting work for my YouTube shorts. YouTube shorts are very, very challenging for me because I need to fit whatever I want to be saying in one minute. And so I need to script whatever I want to say. Anyway, right now, we're gonna be doing our daily run. I'm so happy. Like this week, I've been running every day and I have been loving the feeling, which is very new because usually I have my knees that are a bit like in pain, but I don't know, something is changing. Maybe I have better form, I don't know, but I am loving it and the rush of endorphins that I feel afterwards, I'm here for it. And today is gonna be, I feel like today I am going to be doing a lot of like food eating. <laughs> I have some foods that I wanna have before I leave Japan, like chicken katsu don and like matcha ice cream, stuff like that that I haven't had yet, but I really wanna try it here. But at the same time, it's gonna be hard because they don't really do chicken here, they do pork, so this is like my, my whole thing. Um, anyway, I'm gonna be going to the Ginza neighborhood, which is more like upscale and I don't know, vibey. And maybe I think I'm gonna just spend the day there, work from there, and then like go around and try foods there. We'll see, I'll keep you updated. I'll be right now. I'm gonna hop on a tra treadmill, <laughs> I'm gonna hop on the treadmill and get going. Yesterday we did 25 minutes, so today the goal is to do 27 minutes. I feel positive about it. Let's go. The run is done. I am feeling so good, you guys. And I feel like the key is to find your cruise rate, like the rate where you can just go on for a while and you won't be like too tired, but it's still like a little bit challenging. That's what I find out today. starting to get reckless working um, and so I thought I would take a little walk before dinner around 7 today work has been good seriously I was really productive I was doing whatever I wanted but then at some point you just hit a point where you just feel like there's not gonna be any progress so it's better to get some movement in change your ideas a little bit and come back stronger anyways um, it's kind of like we're approaching the end of our trip in Japan we're going back this Sunday so um, it has been amazing I've had a wonderful time I've eaten way too much but you know I'm so happy um, and I'm so happy also because this week I really managed to balance my work and my like exploring time and I felt like I've been so productive and I really managed to like sit down and focus whenever I needed to do it which is not something that comes easy usually to me so very happy with the progress I can't wait for next week and to be honest I think I might even end this weekly vlog here right now because I'm just gonna be having dinner later and then I don't know if I'll have time to vlog some more um, so I don't know thank you guys for watching week three of the only challenge I feel like the word is not really fitting just because well initially it was not set out for me to travel so clearly I haven't been able to be all in you know that's not exactly what I picture when I say like be like 
I don't picture myself traveling and like doing all those things around it. The, the intention initially was really to be at home and have like a very strict routine and really be like giving my all to work, which was not really the case. So, but we're still gonna call it all in because um, I am doing my best, you know. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, I am diverging, but my point is. I want to thank you guys for watching and for your time. I really appreciate you all. I hope you are enjoying the vlogs nonetheless. And I feel like I really like doing weekly vlogs anyway, so I might just continue to do that. We'll see. You guys need to let me know um, what you prefer between like vlog style videos or more sit down videos like I used to do. I like both to be honest, but I feel like the vlogs are very casual and they're still like, at least I'm still trying to bring some value so yeah really let me know it really matters to me and uh, on that note thank you so much for your time thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys next week and have the most fabulous weekend